So I'm going to show you something really cool you can do with like AIs in Godot for programming. Uh, you can see this effect here. What I'm doing is I'm writing this color changer that allows me to hue shift the effect and all the colors in it to like get different color effects. So you can see like we have different effects here. We have like hue shifting. So you can reuse the effect and get different colors, which is pretty cool. And we have this little script here. What you do to do this is like you pick one of the colors in the effect, you use that as a base color, and then I calculate factors to calculate all the colors in the effect. So basically we're multiplying this color, each of the uh, values of this color with these factors, and then we get the different colors of the effect. And then we can just apply the color like this, right? So we just take the original, um, original color, we hue shift it, which we're doing right here. We're turning the color into HSV with a hue. And then we just hue shift it. And then we can then apply the color, which we'll call this modulate color. And we're multiplying the new base color with the factors, which in turn makes the color change. But it only changes the hue, not the saturation or brightness. So it actually looks kind of good. So this is a theory. And this is quite a bit of work because you can go in Godot here. If I wanted to do this, uh, say this lightning arrow, I might go on the trail, and then I'm gonna go and okay, where are the colors? And I have to go into the shader material, I have to find this gradient, and I would have to write down and go look at all these colors, write them down. And I would probably have to do this calculation by hand. Of course, AI can do it very quickly. But essentially, this is the document I had to make for this lightning arrow where I've written down all the colors and which node it's on and which etc etc and then I have to go to the AI and I can ask it now to take a look at my class here are the colors and calculate this make this color changer however the AI is actually capable of analyzing the class itself so if I just do copy path I'll go here to Gemini which is AI I'm using you see I just used it here so I can just write like so like this. I can just tell the AI to do this and it will very quickly analyze the file and extract all the colors for me. So it found four colors here. So I can already see there's a problem with the process material color. This has a zero. And it should just hear that I use the trail part as the original hue shift. I can then just tell it, uh, so I know that if you if any color is zero, it wouldn't allow the hue shift, so I'm just going to instruct it to do that. And now it's going to go off and write the class for me. And just for reference, this stuff took me uh, 20 to 30 minutes to do by hand, just extracting the colors and all that stuff. If I did it completely by hand, if I extracted the colors and then went to, say, chat GPT and got it to implement it for me, or Gemini, it still took me like 10 minutes. So now it's just done, it's created the fireball script. So we can just go straight in here, we can have a look at it. And you can see it's calculated all the factors. It's calculated the base color. It looks exactly the same as my other scripts. It gets children and it has this apply function. So all I need to do is, I need to just, just do a build. And I can go into Godot and this would be ready to use as soon as the build is done. So I'm just gonna add a child here. I'm gonna call it color changer. There we go. I'm going to add the script that was just created, Fireball node, and now we can test it straight off. And you can see it's hue shifting. It's not working too fantastic. I think the red is too intense. Um, but essentially, this is my workflow. And now I would tweak the original colors and the base colors and the factors to make sure that it looks somewhat good in different colors. This is how you can use. AI for indie game development and such with Godot and the AI is actually pretty good now. Gemini is actually free to get and you can you can have it analyze your scene files and extract stuff and so on. It's uh, actually really useful and it can save you a lot of time. So here we are in the game and it's about fixing a few minor bugs. I haven't really done anything myself. I had the AI fix the color corrections for the fireball effect so that we can now modulate it properly. So I made four examples for modulations here. And that's it.